So now I'd like to walk you through a third method of managing multiple languages in a single storyline project. And this, this method uses states and triggers. And to demonstrate what I mean, I'd like to show you first off this title uh, bar up here. This is uh, what is paleontology. And if you notice down here on the states tab, by default, my normal state is English, but then I have additional states for French and Spanish. And I've done the same thing for this object on my screen. I've got the normal state in English, and then I've got French version and a Spanish version as well. So how are all of these triggered? Well, let's start by looking at our title slide. Here on the title slide, this is the same basic setup that I've used for the other two methods that I've shown you so far. And you'll see that um, by default, um, all of the normal state of my text on the next slide was in English. So I simply have a jump to next slide trigger for this first button. For the French button, there's an additional trigger. In addition to jumping to the next slide, I'm also flipping the switch on a true-false variable that I've created. Let's take a look at that variable real quick. So you'll see here I've got a true-false variable I've named French, and its default value is false or off. Same thing here with Spanish. So what I've done is I've set up this button trigger so that when um, the user clicks it, we're going to change that French variable to be equal to true. Same thing here with Spanish. We're setting Spanish equal to true when the user clicks that button. So when the user would jump to the next slide, the first thing that we need to do is set up some slide triggers so that as the slide loads, Storyline can evaluate whether or not the appropriate language trigger has been um, adjusted. So if we take a closer look at this variable, you'll see we're going to change the state of the title to French when the timeline starts on this slide if the French variable is equal to true. And the way that I added that was just going down here to the add a new one and then I selected variables and I selected French and then I selected the operators from there. So pretty straightforward to set up. And the nice thing is once I set that up for French, it was really easy to just use Storyline's triggers um, features to the copy and paste to just copy and paste that over. And then I could just use these hyperlinks to make the appropriate updates. So I could select Spanish and then I could select the, um, the conditions for that as well. And then I set this up as well for um, this object, for the definition text. So this trigger looks like change the state of the definition text to French when the timeline starts on this slide if French is equal to true. And then I simply copied and pasted that over for Spanish. So a really elegant method. It's pretty quick to set up. Um, it does require a little more forethought, but um, I hope you find this approach helpful.